Lost is one of the greatest shows ever made. I'm re-watching it again right now. I started making TikToks about it, but people have been asking if I would ever want to watch a reboot. And the answer is not really. Lost was great because it was so original and creative and a spin-off or a reboot feels like kind of the opposite of what made Lost good. But given that the current climate of TV and film is to reboot and spin off everything that has ever been successful, today I'm gonna to rank the different ideas I've heard that could maybe be a Lost spin-off. So a Dharma Initiative spin-off is one of the most popular ideas I've seen floating around that follows the scientists through the 20 or 30 years that they were on the island. Because there's still a lot we don't know about them. We know top line stuff, but not really the nitty gritty, right? Now it would be hard to do this show because of all the time traveling Lost Stars, like you would definitely need some cameos in there. And this far out from Lost Finishing, that's gonna be hard to arrange. But outside of the time traveling Lost Stars, there is the aspect of interactions between Dharma and the natives on the island who we later come to call the Others. But again, you'd need Richard in that. This idea could also let us explore the off-island branches of Dharma, like the lamppost and the warehouse that ships the supplies to the hatch. We could also find out all about the shareholders who fund the Dharma Initiative, any board members, if there's like deeper political goings on with the scientists. Plus there's Dharma's links to the Valenzetti equation, which uses the famous numbers to figure out when humanity goes extinct. Then there's Dharma's attempts to uncover ways to travel through space and time. Like, how do they even know about those things? So the show itself, it would be interesting. There would be plenty to sink your teeth into. But with that said, season five of Lost, with all the time jumps, kind of gave us all the big moments from the Dharma Initiative anyway. We saw the incident, we saw the purge. Like a lot of the plot twists and potential season finales are kind of done already. So overall, I'm going to give this a ranking of a B. Like it would be interesting and engaging, mysterious for sure, but a lot of it's been covered already. I think a lot of the beauty of Lost is the way the characters gradually uncovered more of the mysteries of the island, working their way up to eventually finding out about Jacob and the candidates and the source and the whole meaning of everything on the island. And so a spin-off that centers around Hurley in that Jacob role it sort of seems like it's jumping straight into the deep end. Now there are also talks, particularly after the epilogue of Lost, of Walt eventually becoming the protector. Would I like a series on that? I kind of feel the same way about it, right? You're just jumping in at the deep end without any of the mystery or the build up. However, if Hurley brought Walt to the island to be a successor, but Walt instead became the equivalent of the man in black, would I want a show about their conflict? Maybe a short limited series of like six episodes or so? Like Walt wants to save his father who wasn't in the church at the last flash sideways scene because he was damned to be one of the souls stuck whispering on the island. And in trying to save his father, he's corrupted or has to go into the source and so he becomes the smoke monster much like the man in black did. I still, I still don't really want it, but it would scratch an itch of more lost content. So look, I'll go B tier again, and look, hopefully not everything in this video just ends up in the B tier. So the Egyptians on the island are probably the thing we learn the least about in the show. Like there are hints, right? There are tapestries and hieroglyphics and monuments, but overall, we know very little that happened to the Egyptians while they were on the island. In fact, there are already debates among Lost fans about whether the Egyptians came before or after Mother raised Jacob and the Man in Black. And I always prefer largely independent ideas for spin-offs rather than something that gets too close to the original story because it could ruin it or taint it. And like, I love Lost because I think it's almost perfect. And so a story that runs too close to the story we got in the main show could taint it, it could change things, it could wreck on them, it could ruin them. But the story of the Egyptians feels quite separate from the events of Lost, so it sort of makes it perfect for its own self-contained story. How the Egyptians come to the island, how they discover the island's powers, how they build the temple and the lighthouse. There's depictions on the wall of the temple of seemingly Anubis, the god of the dead, interacting with the smoke monster, who happens to be able to take on the form of the dead as one of his powers. So there's a whole story about the man in black conning the Egyptians into thinking he's the god of death or the god of the dead. Plus Jacob seems fond of the Egyptians. He weaves tapestries and lost with Egyptian symbolism on it. He moves into the foot of the statue. So of all of the spin-off ideas, I think this is my favorite. There is a chance it's just repetitive of the story of lost just with Egyptians instead of 21st century plane crash survivors. But as spin-offs go, 
I don't think there are many better options. So for the Egyptians, we're going to go in the A tier. I'm not going to go in God tier because I, I don't want a spin-off. Okay, nothing is going to be God tier, otherwise I'd want it. I just, I want them to leave Lost alone. But if we had to have one, the Egyptians is not a bad option. It has been 20 years since the pilot, and based on HBO Max rebooting Harry Potter as a TV show a little over 25 years after the first movie, I guess we're getting to that point in time where people might actually suggest we reboot Lost completely. Same story, just new actors. And to that I say no thank you. Lost is great, it doesn't need redoing. It's not like the writing or the CGI has aged so badly that nobody can bear to watch it, excluding a couple of polar bear scenes here and there. Plus, the beauty of watching Lost was engaging with fan forums and trying to work out the mysteries. I remember trawling the internet at the end of the season one finale about what was in the hatch. Was it aliens? Was it a monster? Was it people from the future? If we got a reboot, we don't have those mysteries because the story has already finished. It's been told. So an out and out reboot, D tier, I just, I don't want it. The others have been on the island in various forms for generations. Richard arriving to the island on the Black Rock and then eventually speaking with Jacob, that's the start of the others as we know them. And so various people come to the island in various ways for various reasons. And Jacob doesn't get involved, he only speaks to them via Richard. But the others have their own leaders who lead them in certain ways. Eloise has her run-in with the US military. Widmore has his run-in with the Dharma Initiative. Ben has his stint as a leader. And then Jacob decides to make a whole other group of others in the temple. There is plenty going on with the others to tell a decent story or stories across a few seasons. We see in one of the lost episodes, Eloise and Charles Widmore off the island talking about everything they've sacrificed for the island. Eloise is willing to send her son to the island knowing he'll travel in time and she will kill him. Widmore sacrifices his relationship with his daughter. So why do these two and a bunch of other others dedicate themselves so fully to the island that they can't even return to? What kind of cult-like behavior has indoctrinated them so much that even despite the fact they don't even meet Jacob themselves, they will do anything for him? It's not a bad gap, to fill in with a good story. But the thing with the others is, it all stems back to Jacob and the island and what it all means. And those mysteries have been told and revealed. So again, it's an okay idea, but it loses what made Lost so good. And for that reason, it's going in the C tier. Similar to the Egyptian idea, we have Mother, who eventually raised Jacob and the man in black and those two brothers brought about the events of Lost. But we know very little about Mother. We don't know who she is, really, how she got there, how long she was there for, where she's from before the island, if anywhere. Also, there's a theory going around that she was both the island's protector like Jacob and the smoke monster like the man in black at the same time. I wouldn't hate that as a concept to build a story around for a show. So there are some estimations out there that suggest Jacob and the man in black's birth mother was a Roman, who had ended up on the island with some other Romans. So Mother could have been a Roman, or she could predate the Romans. She could have been there for years. And how does she know so much about the island and the source? Who taught her about it? Or is she the first protector herself? If the light is all about giving life, could Mother be Mother Nature? It's a compelling starting point to build a show around. So I would give this an A tier. Again, not God tier, because I don't want any spin-offs, but if we had to have one, this sounds pretty decent. And if you like this video where I talk about potential lost spin-off TV shows, you might like this video where I talk about how they can make sure the Harry Potter TV show is a success, even though I think a reboot is a terrible idea.